Hello. Welcome back. Hello, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi, Christina, how are you? I am fine, are you? I'm okay, thanks. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine. Thanks. And you? Excellent. Hold on a second. I need to check out my internet service. Okay, I got a good connection now. Esperemos que no tengamos interferencias por eh, los cohetes. At least in this area, uh, a lot of people used to to use firework. I don't know there in your areas. No sé si en sus lugares también uh, la gente acostumbra a, a celebrar el, este día. Esperemos que no nos afecte el sonido de los cohetes. Ok, teacher. Porque hoy ya no esperan eh, a las 12 de la noche, sino que lo hacen antes. Traditions. In our country, El Salvador. Aquí en Guayuba, anoche estuvimos celebrando la Virgen María. 
Ah. No se reventaron propios. Ah, ok. Sí. Acá por este lado lo que se celebra es el Día de las Conchas, que le llaman. Ah, bueno. Día de las Conchas. Sí. Conchas de mar, por supuesto. Sí. Así es que este día y el día de mañana ellos... Eh, le gusta reventar cohetes. Okay, I got only six now. We need to wake a little bit more in order to start. Welcome to all of you, Brulinen, Harrison, Giovanni, Anna Cristina, Cristina Stephanie, Karina, Angel Narciso. I guess that Good tomorrow evening. you're, excuse me? Good evening. Good evening, sir. I guess that tomorrow you are going to receive an email. Tomorrow you are going to receive an email with the information about the last activity that you had to do. I guess that it's going to be tomorrow. Más creo que el día de mañana van a recibir el el correo electrónico con las instrucciones para la encuesta del día viernes. Pedirles que no vayan a faltar. Is the last activity that we need to do. And you need to be part of that evaluation. You need to be really careful in order to fill out all the information required. And remember, uh, if you can do it in a computer, it's going to be better because what you are going to do is just to copy and paste in most of the, the questions. Today we are going to continue talking about uh, simple passes B. If you have some question or doubt, we can clarify it today. Ayer ya no nos mandó el, la información. Ah, yes. I'm going to do it now. I, I, I've been having problem with my, my internet. As soon as I finished my class, I lost the connection. And near here, uh, a company that sells water is building something. And they were, uh, they were installing some transformadores, and they cut the, the power. Cortaron la energía casi todo el día para instalar una subestación de, para la empresa. Porque es una empresa que vende agua y ya perforó su propio pozo. Y eso nos ha mantenido sin, sin conexión, sin 
power. But I have it here. Let me see. Fine. Let's see the group here. I got it here. Yeah, you have it there. If you look your chat, you can find it there. I already did. Okay, I got 10. The half, I got the half. Okay, I remember that the last activity that you did yesterday was uh, write some, some question. I don't know if you want to continue reading before we can start with a new topic. Por ahí les dejé la presentación. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let us see the attendance now. Okay, Anna Cristina, are you there? Yes, Anna Cristina yeah, is there. Um, Anna del Carmen, Angel, present teacher, Cristina Stefani. Present teacher. Ah, it's there, it's there. Thank you, Fatima del Carmen. Fatima. Fatima no está. Okay, no here. Uh, Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay. Person. Present. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, Karen Yesenia, are you there Karen, 
Karina. Present. Linda. Not here yet. Okay. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene and Paul. Marlene. Nancy. 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 Norma. Norma. Rafael. Present teacher. Rafael Judith. Present teacher. Suleima. No Suleima. I got only eight and you are 10. I don't know who is missing. Somebody else is missing. Okay, we wanna see it later on. Okay, welcome back to this class. Today we are going to talk uh, about something new, but with the same structure. I remember that uh, you were writing some question yesterday, but we are going to study later on. Before... Uh, Hello teacher, good evening. Aha, uh -huh, is there? Let me check up. Una del Carmen. <laughs> yes. Ahí está la asistencia. Welcome. Thank, thank you, Chile. Okay. Let me see where I have it. Okay, we are going to start with these questions. And I need that you tell me what do you think about this? Somebody wants to read the first one, please. A volunteer who wants to raise the first question. Who wants to read it? Un voluntario que quiera leer la pregunta uno, por favor. Me teacher. Read it, please. How often do you evaluate product at your company? Okay. Who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Thank you, sir. Somebody wants to answer the first one. How often do you evaluate products at your company? And the second one said, who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? What can you tell me about this? Just raise your hand if you want to talk. Levanten su mano si quieren. I saw Linda is here. I'm going to check out the attendance now. Linda 
is here. Okay. Let me see somebody else. Anna is in San Francisco. We said the Golden Gate. California kitchen. Okay, what well, can you tell me about the first question? Tell me, please. What do you think about the first question? Only one, only one, please, only one. How often do you evaluate product at your company? It is the fair one. Let us talk about that first. And I'm going to assign the, the next question for tomorrow as a homework. <clears throat> Okay, I'm waiting your answer. I to turn. Tell me, Harrison. Yes, every month I validate input for the machines that I have in charge. Okay. In order to let uh, the machine get in, you need to be sure, you need to check up that everything is okay. Yes, teacher. I have a look, for example, Blaze. And, and two solvents, for example. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else. Hey, teacher, in my in my company, evaluate the product product the, the product when the start in the middle and the end uh, evaluate the most true most um, and wait. Only that. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you. At the beginning, in the middle, and in at the end, right? Okay, somebody else. If you don't want to talk about the first one, you can talk about the second question. Who is in charge buying supplies at your workplace? Tell me. Give me information about that. Hello. Hello. 
Miguel Kichel. Angel Chavas. My company, the person in charge of evaluating and buying the products is the financial manager. The financial manager, okay. Okay, thank you. Something else? Somebody else? What about the second question? What can you tell me about the second question? Hello. Okay, you don't want to talk, okay? Remember that uh, at the beginning of the class, we need to start participating, chatting all the information required. And also remember that uh, you need to have your cameras on. It is part of the the agreement that we have. I don't know, maybe uh, you have some doubt or you don't understand exactly what is the question, what is the meaning, just tell me. I'm a new muy callado el día de hoy. I don't know why. You look so shy today. You don't want to talk. Maybe you are tired. You work hard today. But if you don't want to sleep, you need to, you need to participate. You need to speak. You need to be in contact with the language. For real, believe me that it is in that way. Okay, I'm going to read the last time the two questions. How often do you evaluate product at your company? And the second one, who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Well, some of you already talked about this. And we are going to continue with this conversation and I'm going to read it and you are going to pay attention. And later on, you are going to have the opportunity to practice with somebody else. The conversation is between Han and Eric. And I start in this way. Hi, Eric. Do you buy the spare part for the civil machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Or the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? Please and pay attention to this question. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. OK. 
Okay. You can read it now and try to identify all the difficult words. If you consider that are difficult and later you are going to let me know. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. Eh, pronunciation eh, eh, es pare, es pare, es pare. Pair, pair. Es, es par. Pair, par, for the seaweed machine. Par, par. Seaweed, seaweed. Seaweed machine. Okay, thank you. Spare, spare part. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Any question? No? No. Or yes. No. Okay, I need uh, a pair in order that uh, read it, volunteers. Only two, please, no more than two. Me, teacher. Okay. And who else? We need, we, we need somebody else. Comienzo yo, Linda. Ah, sí, perdón, no sé. Dele, dele. I added the two buy the spare part for the sewing machine. Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the, of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Right. Did you order it online? Or did you buy his downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Hello. Me, teacher. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Me, teacher. Okay. Do it. Empiezo, Raquel. Yes. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy this part, part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seven eight dollars. Okay, I need the valuation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. 
great did you order in online or did you buy it in the downtown? Yes, I went to get it my, my, by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Anna, how, how do you say this amount? Anna del Carmen. Hello, teacher. Could you, could you read the price of the product, please? The price? Yeah, the price of the product. Um, 17, 17. Eight dollars. Okay, Raquel. Seven seventy-eight dollars. Seventy-eight dollar. Okay, excellent. Okay, to Maria, want to read it? No. Okay, let's go to the breakout room and there you are going to practice. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No, teacher. Everything is really, really clear. Okay. Excellent. I got 16, let me see. I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you can practice, okay? If the, if the time is in, in, enough, you can switch the roles. Si les ajusta el tiempo, pueden cambiar el rol. Una vez son un personaje, en la siguiente son el otro. Ok. Let's do it now. Norma en Ana Cristina. Norma. This part is really, really important for, for them because uh, they had the, the opportunity to practice.
OK. You can use your own name if you want. Come on, Giovanni, let's go. OK. Is Hi, you? Eric. Hi, Eric. Did you buy this part, part for this sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. OK, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? But why? It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get to get it by myself downtown. Oh, well, the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, Giovanni, thank you. Bye. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, please. Maria Julia. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spark bar for the sewing machine? Yes, I did. Yes. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Wait, did you order it online or did you buy a, it's downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Oh, was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Somebody else? Rafa, you ready? Yes, I am ready. Hi, okay. ready. Hi, Niku. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Rafa. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Right. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it my by myself at downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, thank you, Nicole. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Somebody else, please. Christina, ready. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. OK. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. It will be ready tomorrow. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Great, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it being myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Thank you. De los que ya leyeron a uh, ¿Alguien encontró alguna palabra o 
algunas expresiones difíciles de pronunciar. ¿No? Ok. Teacher. Tell me. Is correct downtown. Downtown. Okay, thank you. Down, downtown area. Yes, downtown. Okay. What else? Who's next? Nadie más quiere participar. Norma Carolina, ready? Yes, Juan Carlos. Okay, sí, usted inicia. Okay. Hi, Eric. Do you buy the spark part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the valuation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself, myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? And don't forget that the moment that you are reading, you need to respect all the the question mark, exclamation mark, or uh, periods, uh, commas, and so on. Hi, Eric. Do you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. For the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Do you order it online? Or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Remember that you need to sound as naturally, you know? Somebody else? No? Okay, let us continue then. If you don't want to practice, you don't need to think too much in order to start saying, okay, I'm going to do it, but it's up to you. That's right. Ah, this word, this word, ready, ready, ready. Okay, uh, we have three questions. You are going to get in pair and discuss the following question. Number one, what did Ari need to buy? Number two, what was the price of the product? And the number three, how was the customer service at the start? And you are going to talk with somebody else. In Thank you. 
Okay, you are going to discuss with your partner the answer to this question. I see Rafael is alone. I don't know why. If I got, uh, I'm going to recreate again. Okay, here we go. You are going to have three minutes in order to answer the three questions with the help of somebody else. One of your classmates is going to be with you. Right now they are working in pairs, discussing some questions related with the conversation. Okay, let's see who is going to read first. Fatima, do you want to read the first question? And Karina is going to give the answer. Thank you. 
Hello. Is that possible, Fatima? Sorry, teacher. I I was trying to to download the the manually in my cell phone because I I don't I don't have it and I don't okay. have the copy. For okay, example, okay. My hand. Sorry okay. for the okay. next. No problem. Norma Carolina, do you want to read the first question? Yes, teacher. And Karen is going to give you the answer. Okay. What did Eric need to buy? Karen. Kill me. Eric need to buy this part. Parts for sewing machine. Mm, okay, the sewing machine. Sewing machine. Yes. Second question. Second. Norma Carolina. Okay. What was the price of the product? And this is going to be answered by Raquel Judith. Hello. The answer, it was nice as usual. Oh, nice. Repeat the question, please. Norma. What was the price of the product? Raquel. Uh, the question is $70, $78. Uh -huh. Okay. We need to be sure when we when we got a, a, a question, we need to be sure what we are going to answer. We need to be careful about it. Okay. And the last one is going to be, let me see who is it. Let me see. Person, do you want to read the last question and um, let me see, Giovanni Alexander is going to answer. Is that, is that okay? Read the okay. question, teacher. Excuse me? I read the question. Just, just read it. Number three, please. Okay. How was how was the customer serving at the store? It was nice as usual. Okay, excellent. And also, if you see the conversation, we can uh, we can ask more questions about it. Somebody else wants to create one? De la conversación aún podemos sacar más preguntas. Do you want to create some? Hello. Are you following me? Están conmigo, me están siguiendo. Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, okay. De esa conversación podemos sacar más preguntas. Not necessary the one that are there, you can create. 
new ones. Or did you buy it downtown? Excuse me? Or did you buy it downtown? Or you can say, where did you buy it? Where did you get it? Buy. Yes. Somebody else? Did you order it? It's online. Ah. Do you order online? Okay. Do you pay it with Bitcoin or dollar? Yeah, could be too. Because right now, remember that we are using the currency of the Salvador is not just the dollar. It is also the Bitcoin. Okay, let me see. Let us see the, the attendance again. Veamos la asistencia otra vez. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni. Present. Person. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present. María. Present. María Julia, María Julia. Marlen. Present. Nancy. Nancy. Not here. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Suleyma. It's not here, it's a layman today. Okay. Now I'm going to make a parenthesis. Aprovechando uh, un parenthesis rapidito. Al inicio de la clase les mencioné que ya el día de mañana les enviarán el correo electrónico donde están todas las instrucciones para eh, la actividad del día viernes sobre la encuesta. Es muy importante que todos estén presentes y que sigamos las instrucciones correspondientes para que todo nos salga de la mejor manera posible. Recuerden, si lo pueden hacer eh, en una computadora, es sumamente fácil para copiar y pegar la información, porque algunas veces es más difícil eh, estar escribiendo cada uno de los caracteres que lleva alguna información. Pero sé que ustedes son muy buenos en el uso de la tecnología y que todo saldrá muy bien. 
Así es que pedirles que no se vaya a adelantar nadie, todos paremos el día viernes. Ellos nos van a asignar la hora en la que nos corresponderá hacer la encuesta. El día que se haga lo haremos paso a paso, eh, tomando su tiempo. Eso es muy importante. Así es que tranquilos, we are so close to finish this module. And the most important thing is that you are learning something new, new strategies, new skills, but you need to practice. You need to practice every day. If you have the, the opportunity to practice in your work with somebody else that is speaking English, you can do it. And that way you are uh, facing the need to, to learn more and more. Okay, let us continue. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. Okay. No, in exercise number four, we are going to talk about how to use the verb be in the past. Yes, no question. Yesterday we talked about, about that too, but today we are going to see it in question. We use the past be to ask question about situation in the past. And you need to learn this structure. We are going to use B. Y esto sí se lo voy a decir en español, pero cuando decimos B, nos referimos a una forma del B. Que en este caso, si hablamos de el verb be in the past, we only have was or where. Plus the subject, plus the complement plus the question mark. And I got four examples here. Who wants to read it? I need four volunteers who wants to participate. Me, teacher. Okay, read the first one, please. Was the training interesting? Okay, was the training interesting? Yes, it was, or oh, no, it was, it was boring. Okay. Number two. Somebody else? Need to talk. Were all the employees at the conference? Yes, oh. they were. No, they were. Uh, I Well, the problem is that when I'm presenting some material, it's difficult to see if you have your, your hand up. I'm sorry. Were all the employees at the conference? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay, take a look at the question, please. We need to know exactly how we are going to use the verb be, not only in present, but also in, in past. And I guess that I have extra information about it. I don't know if you are listening a sound nearby here. Well, I'm really sorry about that, but people are celebrating on just day.
Okay, I'm going to show you some picture in order that you relax a little bit and, and try to, to take note if you need it. Of course, that I know that you already have studied this topic, but maybe suddenly there is something that you, you miss. So please, I invite you to pay attention. It is really clear here. But I need to be sure that you know exactly what we are talking about. When we talk about uh, a simple, we are talking about was and where. Okay. Uh, who wants to read these two examples? ¿Quién quiere leer estos dos ejemplos? Me, teacher. Okay. Tom is at school today. Tom was uh, at home yesterday. Okay, somebody wants to tell me the difference between the third one and the second one? Is the past. Okay. The first is in present, the two is um, past. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we can say is that in the first one, we are using is that belong to the B. And the second one, we are using was because we are talking in the past. But both form are part of the of the verb B. Let me let me see if I can write. Okay. Hold on. Okay, en español, ambas formas son del B, Oscar. But why I'm, I'm using is here and why I'm using was here. You already told, but tell me again. Ambas formas son del mismo verbo, be. Is, is uh, used on the present and was in past. Okay. Okie dokie. Try to keep in mind, try to keep in mind, please. Que no, que no se les olvide. Tom is at school today. Yeah. And I have a, this is present and this is simple class. What about this? Two examples. Somebody wants to read it, please. Who wants to do it? We, we are at school today. We were at home yesterday. Tell me the difference. And also, in the first sentences, there is something that is showing us in the time that they are, uh, we are creating the sentence. You can see here today, yesterday. The same happened here. Okay, we are at school today. 
R is the, the present and where is the past. And why we are using this? Because we are talking about plurals. Okay. Take a look at this. We have positive and negative. And that means that right here, we are going to use I, he, she, and it with was or wasn't. And let us see what is going to happen here. We, you, and they. Or well, then we are going to use where or where. And we have um, positive and negative examples. We were oh, we were in at school yesterday. They they were at school yesterday, but we never can mix them. For example, we can say we we was no or uh, he were, you know. That is clear, right? Eso está claro, ¿cierto? And let us see this part. In order to create a question, what we need to do is just that we are going to write down the before at the beginning, like the example that we have here, and we are going to say, was I at the school yesterday? Was he, was she, was it? But what about here? What's happened here? Well. Something is missing. Ah, we are going to use where. Were we at school yesterday? Were you at school yesterday? Okay. Your answer. Somebody wants to read it, please? Alguien que quiera participar? Was he at home yesterday? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. Okay, thank you. As you can see, we had the before in blue in order to show you how we are going to use it. Why we are using was here and why we are using where here? Tell me your own words. Con sus propias palabras, explíqueme, ¿por qué was arriba y por qué where en nosotros? Tell me. Use was when is a um, singular and where when is plural. Okay, bingo. Thank you. Let us see. And let us talk about bar and bill. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, lady. One day, Bill was hungry. Ah, okay, take a look. Take a look at the picture. Let us see what happened next. Continue reading, please. Bob was hungry too. Bob was hungry too. Okay, we are talking about Bob. And what happened here? Fred was in the park. Okay. He wasn't hungry. Mm -hmm. Negative, right? Okay. okay. What about Chuck, that? Chuck, Ted, Benji, and Beethoven, Be Beethoven were also in the park. 
Aha, uh -huh, okay. Pay attention to this square in blue. They weren't hungry. They weren't hungry, okay. They were happy. Okie dokie. What happened to Ted? There was a sign built. He also said it was very funny. Okay. Soon we were in the park. Two. Two. We were fast and we were still hungry. <laughs> okay. Excuse me? Continue. If you want or somebody else wants to help you? Maybe somebody else. Okay, okay. Somebody else want to continue, please. Ahí está. Mire, nadie quiere. Rafa, what? Go ahead. There was a chat in the sandbox. Oh, okay. It was full of bones. There were bones for everyone. Continue or somebody else? It's up to you. There was a barn ball for a bow. And one for two. And one for three. There were bones everywhere. Okay, somebody else, please. The friends were never more hungry. Uh, take a look at the picture, how they are. Now, you try. Okay, let us see. What about the third one? Uh, let me see who wants to do the, do, do the first, who wants to do it? Me teacher. Okay. I was in the home yesterday. Okay, next one. I was at a school. Okay, somebody else, next. Alguien más, por favor. I was happy because my friends were at school too. And the last one? They were happy too. Somebody else, please. Tom was in the playground last week. The next one.
He was with his dad. With his dad, okay. Somebody else? Hello, where are you? Tom's mom. Teacher, Tom's, Tom's mom is named the person of person. Possessive. La mamá de Tom. Ah, uh, Tom's. Mm, okay, thank you. Esa es la forma posesiva. If you are going to talk about the car of Mac, you are going to say Mac's car. Instead of say the car of Mac. Okay, somebody else? Mm, Tom's mom was in the playground. In the playground. Okay, the next one. Hello. Tom was on the slide. And the last one, the last one, please. He? He was um, on the swing. He was or he wasn't? According to the picture. Uh, he was on this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess uh, with these examples, I got more info, but I guess it is enough. Talking about this. Yo creo que algunos no quisieron leerme los ejemplos porque dijeron, no, muy fáciles. No, no, muy fáciles. Me están dando sueño, dijeron, no, no. Okay, let us continue then, talking about, oops, sorry, there. let's see what's happening here. Okay, we need to continue with exercise number five. Here we go. I don't know what's going on. I got it here. In exercise number five, you are going to read the following services and write question to evaluate, then using simple pass and passes B. Then ask the question to a classmate. But first of all, what we need to do is write it down based on the information that we have. Basado en la información que tenemos ahí, ustedes van a escribir siete preguntas usando el simple pass or uh, and the pass of B. When, when we say simple pass, that means that you can use B or you can use the pass of B. Clara la instrucción? Leen la información y luego escriben. Yes. Eh, preguntas para evaluar Eh, lo que estamos eh, haciendo usando el pasado simple, es decir, usando did o el pasado el verbo be. Ok, let us work on it. Voy a hacer un ejemplo, teacher. Hello. Voy a hacer un ejemplo. Una. Ah, 
Okay, let me let me show again. I'm going to show the new This uh, on. Okay, first of all, we are going to read the information. That is the first step that we need to do. Let us read it, this one. Okay, on November 1st, I bought a spare part from the printer at Spear ES. The price was $300. The brand was Red Crow. The customer server was great because we received all the information we needed. Okay, if I'm going to use Did I can say, did I buy a new spark part from a printer? I can use did. But what about using uh, the passes B? How can I say it? How can I do it? Was was the customer service excellent? Okay, I don't know if my examples are clear. No sé si los ejemplos que le di son están claros. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let us do your work now, please. A trabajar entonces. Remember the first thing that you need to do is just read the information and later on you are going to start writing down the question. Remember, do you need to write down seven questions? Only the question, not the answer right now. Only the question. And try to respect the, the, the instruction. Okay, let us do it now, please.
Oh, remember that in order that you can write down the seventh question, you need to take into account both informations. If you have those, remember that I'm here to guide you. Si alguien tiene alguna duda, por favor, no se quede con ella. Share it. So we can help you. By the way, checking my list today at the end of the class. 
I need to talk with Maria Julia. Is that possible, Maria Julia? Remember that every one of you have the opportunity to clarify some those or questions that you have. All of you have 10 minutes at the end of the class. And for today, the term is for Maria Julia Gomez. And I remember you that you need to have your cameras on. How many questions do you have now? Hello, tell me how many questions do you have now? I have six, six questions from the first. Um, oh, four. Paragraph. Ah. Only yes about the first paragraph. Yeah, and the for the other I have. Uh, yeah, you can use both. Uh, you can use both. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, you can write down only yes, a seven. Ah, okay. So yes. I have seven. Sí, no se preocupen. Solo van a escribir siete oraciones, siempre eh, siguiendo las instrucciones, usando ya sea did o was aware. 
tenemos que seguir la estructura. That is the main purpose that we are looking for. Okay, let me see if you've already finished. Yes. 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 Okay.
we are going to chair Who wants to read it? Okay. Uh, what did you buy? What was the price? What was the price? What okay. was what was the brand? The brand of it. Where did you buy it? When did you buy it? How was the customer service? Um, was the machine working properly? Was the rich part ship? Okay. Uh, Let us see if somebody else have it in a different way. Okay. Ana Cristina. What did you buy in the first in November? What was the price? What brand was? How was the customer service? They gave and the information is what was the price the rips rips parts. Okay. Somebody else? Teacher, yo solo cuatro escrito. Okay. Dale. Eh... Read, uh, read the first one, and I need to somebody give you the answer for the question. Okay. What did I buy on November 1st? I bought a spar. Okay, hold on, hold on. You, you are going just to read the question. Solo va a leer la pregunta, y alguien más le va a dar la respuesta. Okay. What did I buy on November 1st? Mm. You bought a spare part for the printer. What was the price of the products? The price was 300. What brand was the printer? The brown was right well. How was the customer service? The customer service was great mm. because you received all the information that you needed. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Okay, somebody else? Mario wants to read it. Alguien más que quiera leer sus preguntas. No. Okay. But remember, I gave you the opportunity to do it. Pero recuerda, le di la oportunidad de hacerlo. Y no quiso. Y como dice el gran sabio, todo depende de quién. De usted depende. 
Ok, eh, en el intermedio estaba diciendo que a todos les ha correspondido 10 minutos en el 1 a 1 para aclarar algunas dudas que tengan de algún tema X. Y el día de hoy es, le corresponde a María Julia. But I need to be sure that you are going to be at the end of the class. Tell me, please. Maria, are you there, Maria? No. Can you hear me, Maria? Ok, recuerden que siempre es parte de su formación el participar en ese tiempo que se les asigna. Excepto que alguien tenga X o Y motivos o razones. Se puede hacer el cambio para luego tener el espacio de tiempo y, y tener ese la oportunidad de poder aclarar algunas dudas. Ok. I'm going to check up the attendance now. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Fátima. Present. Giovanni. Person Manuel. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Marlene. Dineo present teacher. María Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Y Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. No, 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 teacher. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Let me, yes. Let me see. You are the first one on the list. Okay, Anna Cristina is there. <laughs> yes. Okay, we are so close to finish. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Don't forget to resolve the activities in the platform, please. Yep. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Yo le quería preguntar una respuesta de IWAS. Porque en la plataforma les preguntaba yo que si siempre teníamos que contestar como yes, IWAS o no, IWAS no. Pero se supone que ahí dice que podemos corto o largo, pero no me sale. Ok. Um... Algunas cosas le logré oír y entender porque que tenemos problemas en conexión.
o no sé si es el micrófono, pero creo que su pregunta es que si siempre se va a hacer la respuesta eh, usando yes I was o no I was. Creo que eso fue, ¿cierto? Yes, es que en la plataforma yo contesto así y me sale mal. De veras. Entonces, ¿El número de exercise? 15. Let me see, let me see now. Let me try to see it now, in order to give you a hand. <laughs> Déjeme revisar ahorita. Hold on a second. <coughs> Sí, en el 15 es. Dice, was I not? Ok, hold on, hold on, let me see. A ver que el inter por rato se Así como en, en huelga, ¿no? Si no quiere. Pero no sé por qué me pasa eso en este, digamos, en el Zoom, porque yo ocupo el team para reuniones y, y todo bien. Y ahí le funciona. Sí, pero aquí se le oye entrecortado. Se oye como que si fuese el que tiene algo ahí que no está bien. Ok, the instructions say answer the following question. Your short answer. Give positive or negative answer. Which one is the, in, in, is the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? Eh, ¿Qué número es el problema? Hola, por eso no sé si yo estoy haciendo algo mal. Porque dice, ejemplo, was I love? Yo le digo, no, I was, wasn't. Pero no me sale. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. In, in the first one, the question is, was I late? Como, usted llegó tarde, no sé. No, it is talking about you. You are asking the question yourself. Usted se está haciendo la pregunta a usted mismo. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Si no llegué tarde, no hay... No hay was. Hay. Hay was. Was. Ah, ok. Yo no. Por ahí está la situación. If you are going to give an answer in a positive way, you are going to say, yes, I was. If it is negative, how you are going to say? Yes, este, no, I wasn't. Ah, ok. Entonces, basado en ese ejemplo, usted uh, va a ir buscando eh, cómo responder a las, a las preguntas que tiene ahí. Y ha probado eh, alguna de las respuestas que me acaba de dar. Sí, y por eso no, no sé si hay algo que yo escriba mal, tal vez. No sé por qué. Después de no lleva una coma. Yes. Después coma. de yes lleva coma. Sí. Y al poner el I am, I, perdón, I was, el I es minúsculo. Ay, tendría que ser mayúsculo. Ay. Ay, was. Le voy, a, le voy a pegar mi respuesta para ver si es que estoy escribiendo algo mal. Ok. Let 
let us see your answer. No. Okay, I saw it. No, I wasn't. Y le sale mal. Sale mal. Ah, okay. Um, let me see. Try to try to answer in positive and negative too. Si la puedo positive. No, tra trate de. de de dar ambas respuestas, ya sea eh, positiva y negativa. Maybe it could be that. Yes, I was. Creo que es el punto, teacher. Ah, el punto. Ah, porque le contesté yes, I was, y le puse el punto y sí me la aceptó. Ajá. Ahí está. Y el, acuérdese que el I siempre lo va a poner mayúscula. Sí, porque Pero, si, lo, si, lo, si lo pone minúscula no, no le funciona. Ok. Esa era mi pregunta. Ok. Se da cuenta, mire cómo le, le, le ayudamos ahí. Y la muchacha estaba a la que le, le, le correspondía el día de hoy, estaba, pero no, al menos eh, no respondió ni dijo, no, no puedo. Ah, no, no. Ahora sí estaba. Sí, así es. La llamé, la llamé como tres veces. Pero no, no respondió. And maybe if you don't have any question, maybe what you can do is just practice about the topic. Cuando alguien dice, no, no tengo preguntas, lo que puede hacer es tener una práctica para ver hasta dónde hemos avanzado. ¿no? Ese es el objetivo de la oportunidad del uno a uno. Pero... Yo no lo... Eh, el internet el día que me tocó a mí. Ah, ok, pero mire, ya recuperó. Sí. ¿Eh? Ok, you're welcome. If you don't have another question. No, teacher. Ok, good night. Thank you to stay here with me at this time. Buena noche y gracias por haberse quedado. Thank you, sir. Ok. Good night. Bye.